Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I would like to test out this whole suffocation by plastic bag theory. I call it a theory. Because um, I've never known anyone to be suffocated by a plastic bag. Um, <laughs> maybe that's why I don't know them, because they're dead. But anyway, like when I was eight years old, um, I was in my bedroom with a plastic bag from a grocery store, and I just put the bag over my head. And then, right then, my sister came in my room and just like started screaming, Jonathan, take the bag off your head. And uh, I don't know why I put that over my head anyway, just for fun, because these are these are so much fun. Like when you're eight years old, you see one of these bags, you just want to play with it. So much fun. <laughs> so anyway, because my sister started screaming and showed me the, the, the warning label in the plastic bag saying, uh, Children are going to suffocate. You'll die, Jonathan. If you put that over your head, you'll suffocate. You won't be able to breathe, and you'll die. So my sister scared the shit out of me, and I've been scared of plastic bags ever since then. And, and I haven't tried this since I was eight years old, so I'm going to try this whole theory. So I think I'm mature now. I'm growing up now. I'm mature, so I feel like I can conquer my fears of plastic bags. So like, like here, here's a wall bag from Walmart and the warning the warning label on here please return to our participating store for recycling oh wait sorry um, okay there's warning labels on all these bags and the warning label okay warning okay. to avoid danger of suffocation keep this plastic bag away from babies and children and I know I'm not, I'm not a babies um, I'm not a baby I'm not a children um, but my head is bigger now and like babies and children their heads are a lot smaller so if a child did put their head over put their head inside this bag they would have a lot more opportunity to breathe than I would as a grown adult because my head is a lot bigger so like I'm gonna check this whole thing out you know I mean let me just try it I'm gonna put it over my head I can see if I can breathe and if I die um, if you're watching this video, I obviously didn't die, unless one of my friends or my brothers um, posted this online and said I'm dead. So I might die. So you're about to watch someone die from putting this over their plastic, over, putting a plastic bag over their head. So let me try this. Okay. Okay. I'm a little scared. Here we go. I haven't done this since I was eight years old. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. I can I can breathe. I can I can breathe. I can breathe in this. There's no I, there's no there's no issue here. I'm I'm alive, okay? I'm breathing. I'll be honest, I, first I started to hyperventilate. But I can understand if you want to hyperventilate, you just might pass out. And but if you pass out, then maybe you'll still live. But like, I can breathe. I can breathe in this. I didn't. I didn't die. I didn't die. Well. So okay, I live. I survived that. So, but maybe just maybe maybe um, scientists at Walmart have tested this and put. People who have gotten doctorates in plastic bag engineering have have tried and put it over their head. You know, they've gone to school to put a plastic bag over their head, and they they designed it so you can still breathe. So maybe that's just Walmart plastic bag. So here's okay, toilet paper plastic bag. There's even a warning on the on this. It says a warning to avoid dangerous suffocation. Keep this bag away from babies and children. And again, I'm not a baby, and I'm not a children. I'm an adult. Um, so let me try to, I'll put this, I assume you just put it over your head, that's how you suffocate. So, let me get this over. Okay. I, I, I'm having a hard time breathing. Oh. Relax, Jonathan, relax. The trick is for babies and children just to relax when they have this over their head. Babies and children, if you do this at home, 
Just relax if you're going to do this. See how I'm relaxed. Not, not passing out. I'm alive. I can breathe. I can breathe. <laughs> not a, I'm alive. Oh, messed up my hair. But yeah. There was no issue with that. Like, safe. Okay. So you are allowed to do this. You have the freedom now to put a plastic bag over your head. And, um, okay, here's another this bread. This is a uh, bread plastic bag. And there's no, there's, the thing is, these next few bags, there's no warning label on this bag. There's no warning label telling me not to put this over my head. I'm a little concerned about that. Like, I feel like I'm being tricked into, into putting this over my head because there's not a warning label on it. Like, no warning label. I mean, of course, I'm going to put this over my head. I mean, so let me try this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe pretty good. <coughs> oh. oh, that wasn't because I wasn't losing air. Uh, there was moldy, a bunch of moldy bread in this bag. I took the moldy bread out so I could do this video and it was the mold. <laughs> I might die from the mold, but it was moldy. Moldy in the bag. But I could breathe fine. I could breathe fine in this plastic bag. There's no problem with that. So finally, the mother of mothers of plastic bags. This is like um the, the Satan of plastic bags. Look how big that is. I'm gonna put this over my head and I'll see if I can breathe. I might, might die. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. I can breathe. Oh, it feels so good. In fact, I think I'm getting a little high off of, of being in here. See, look at me, look at me. I can breathe fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing at all. I mean, in fact, it feels like fresh air. I mean, I lived in Cairo for six months, and like the air in here is a whole lot cleaner than the air in Cairo. So, I mean, just go to Cairo, and you're more likely to die from breathing the air there than in this plastic bag. so refreshing. I feel a little high, you know, but... Okay, so, yeah, there's just like, I don't know why they have the warning labels on that. I mean, so babies, babies, if you're listening to this vlog, babies, go ahead, put a plastic bag over your head. And, well, maybe, like, if you just put this over your head and you're like... But I can still breathe. I can still breathe. I can still breathe doing that, so it's like, well, that's not the issue, so uh, it's in suffocation, like, maybe if you, like, try to swallow it, maybe it's swallowing is what they meant, instead of suffocation, they're just, like, trying to swallow it, yeah, that might kill you, um, don't try to swallow the babies, don't try to swallow this, it's fun to chew on, but if I was a baby, I'd chew on this. But don't try stuffing it, jam it, baby, baby, don't try jamming this down your throat, okay? Baby, you are allowed to chew it, to chew it. But baby, don't stuff it down your throat. I, I felt like I could die. I felt like I could die doing that, so. That's not the issue. I don't know. I'm just, I'm fine. And like, I've, I've found a lot of healing now. Um, I'm not afraid. <laughs> plastic bags, uh, plastic bags anymore. Plastic bags are my friends now. Not afraid of you. Not afraid of you anymore. We're friends. Plastic bag and I are friends now. Um, I feel like I've been healed from my traumatic experience when I was eight years old. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead. You can try it at home. You have the freedom now, because I tested it out. You have the freedom now to put a plastic bag over your head. So, 
Thank you. And ha knock yourself out.